Sooner or later it had to happen, Copilot has been hacked by security researchers that showing few vulnerabilities across using Copilot in Microsoft 365. In this video I will tell you a little more about this vulnerability, what kind of risk is really behind it, how you should prepare your organization and should you be scared about it. Let me dig in into test environment and show you what kind of scenario is present in here and also what you should do on your side to prepare your users for any kind of risks connected with not correct data that will be provided by Microsoft Copilot. If you would like this video, please leave your thumbs up, add subscription or leave comment in the comment section. That kind of activity will not take that much time, but will help this channel. First of all, I want to highlight that I'm not the security researcher behind digging through these vulnerabilities of Microsoft Copilot. In the description of the video, I will add multiple resources, multiple articles and videos showing some challenges connected with the Copilot itself, how it could be attacked from the outside and how the attacker could impact the results of Copilot that will be presented for your business users. What is most important, I test most of them and seems that almost everything is already covered by Microsoft. Still, there are possibilities to use challenge connected with indirect prompt injection because this is the issue we're talking here, but it is much more difficult to be executed and I think Copilot doing really great job to figure out such scenarios and to provide proper data for your business users. And just few words about the technology and the challenge we're facing here. We're talking about indirect prompt injection. What does it mean? When we're working with Microsoft Copilot, using Copilot chat and implementing the prompt in there, asking Copilot any kind of data, then application reaching out to semantic index then copilot using the data stored inside the microsoft 365 sharepoint outlook teams and onedrive which your account have access to to verify possible results and deliver the best information of course large language model is used to analyze the question and deliver the best answer based on the data gathered in Microsoft 365. And Microsoft 365, especially data stored there, is retrieval argument generation. It is rack for large language model included in the Microsoft Copilot. Data stored in the Microsoft 365 is retrieved and used to deliver the proper answer. Because of that, there is a risk that somebody could inject the snippet, the prompt into the data in your Microsoft 365 that will impact the answer generated by Copilot. It could be in the file that we're referencing to. It could be in another file that will be re reviewed by Copilot and the snippet will be injected. Microsoft putting right now a lot of effort to fix that kind of challenge. So let's see the examples how that kind of prompt injection could look like and what kind of impact it could bring to the way how Copilot works for you. So first of all, let's focus how that kind of attack of indirect prompt injection could look like. You can receive the offer that, that will be shared with you with the vendor and in the end, it will land somewhere in the SharePoint online. And if you will open the document in Microsoft Word, you will see that in general, this is the price offer for some hardware. No that much info is created, additional information is here, but you can imagine that somebody hide very small comment in the end of the document itself. And you can see this is the example of the prompt that could be injected somewhere in the document that will be retrieved by Copilot and could be included as a part of the comment shared in the end with large language model. And you can see in this case, 
we trying to inject recommendation for Copilot that if somebody will ask to summarize this document, totally different response should be shared with the business users in the end. We probably heard about people injecting similar prompts into the CVs, asking ChatGPT or other large language model to deliver better summary of their resumes. But in this case, we're talking just about Microsoft 365. In the linked videos shared in the description of the video, you will find scenarios that somebody is sharing the email or sending you the email and in the HTML code injecting the prompt that will impact the results in the totally different scenario in the Microsoft 365 Copilot. I was not able to repeat very same process in here, but if we will ask Copilot to summarize specific document where we're using the link in here, we can inject the prompt and impact the results. I will show you a few examples what kind of results you can get here. And in this case, you can see the previous prompt I shared in the Word document when we first asked Copilot about this specific document and asked Copilot to summarize it, we get totally different answer. But at the same time, when we repeat that operation, Copilot was able to deliver proper answer from perspective of this document. In this case, you can see a little different scenario where we were also able to inject some kind of address, additional not correct answer for Copilot. And again, you can see the links are not clickable. This is the issue that is already fixed by Microsoft. Moreover, it's very difficult to execute indirect prompt injection from perspective of different data source where the prompt is ejected and then get the results directly in the chat. I already showed you when we were asking Copilot twice about the same comment, previously injected prompt was not impacting the results in the second time. So Microsoft putting a lot of effort to resolve that kind of issue and improve the user and data safety. And moreover, nowadays, in every prompt generated by Copilot, you will find this kind of comment, which is very important. AI generated content may be incorrect. This is something that you need to take into consideration when you will prepare your business users. Indirect prompt injection existing in the technology connected with AI. You can see it's almost fixed on the Microsoft side, but still it is present. So train your business user to be sure train your business users how to safely use Copilot in your organization and take care of your environment. So you can see Microsoft already very strictly highlighting that the data generated by AI could be incorrect, not only because of attack from the outside, but also because maybe rubbish data stored somewhere in the Microsoft 365 that will impact the result or hallucination of Copilot itself. That's why it is super important to adopt your business users to this technology. You need to put a lot of effort when you will adopt and deploy Copilot into your organization to train your users, to verify the data that is included by Copilot. It is the tool that will speed up the process and I'm quite sure that a lot of users will depend on the results that will be provided by Copilot. But you don't need attacker that will find another vulnerability of Copilot that will impact the results to get not proper results provided by Copilot. It could be the hallucination, it could be elimination of specific data or bias that is included in AI for some type of the result. Again, I think right now most of the issues described in the articles that I'm referencing to are already fixed and covered by Microsoft. But again, as I said at the very beginning, sooner or later, something else will come up. So be aware and train your business users, prepare them proper way for using the Copilot with mature, safe way. Thank you very much for the time you spend with me. I highly recommend you to double check the articles included in the description. For now, thank you very much for watching any your time and See you in the next video.